What's up guys? Before I get into anything in the video, I want to go through a couple things. I don't mind y'all guys asking me for spots or anything like that, as long as it's my spots. I'm only going to give away my spots. If somebody brings me to one of their spots, I'm not showing you where it is, I'm not telling you where it is, anything like that. But I will give you a piece of advice. When you're fishing, and when you start fishing, you go out and you find an area, and then you got to try to figure it out. That's the way that it makes you a better fisherman and teaches you how to catch fish. If you don't do that and you just fish spots, you never really learn too much. You learn a little bit here and there, but not as much as you would go out and do go and try to figure it out yourself. Go out, try different baits. It's hard to go out there and try new things because you want to catch fish. I understand that. It's you got to go out there and throw a different lure, throw a different bait, whatever. You know, do things you normally wouldn't do. Find a YouTube video on the internet. Listen to what they say. Try to use what they do. When I first came out here with George, I mean, I knew what I was doing as far as sockling and everything as far as, like, how to catch them, what they like, and this and that and everything else. But it's just a little bit different. Every place is a little different. They might like a certain color here. They might like that bait to go fast in front of their face. Anything like that, you know. So you just got to kind of figure it out for yourselves. The best thing to do to learn is to put the time in. If you want to be good at something, you practice. So, I mean, that's that's what you have to do. Um, I'm not the best fisherman in the world. Sometimes I think I am. <laughs> but nonetheless, I know I don't know everything. And that's the thing is you got to constantly be learning. And that's the way that you get good at stuff. Bluegill, no sockele, but a bluegill. It is not the target species for today. Well, there he is. When you're using these, you're gonna get bluegill a lot on your bites, but I think the scent and maybe just that little bit of chartreuse on this little baby matrix shed just gives it a little more flavor to get these sockele. But been fishing out here for a little while. Let's see if we get some, get some more, get some sockele. Well, we got one, but I could put him in the fish tank. <laughs> He's that small. So let's try to get a little bit bigger one. How about that? Nope, little bass. I'll make a pair of brass knuckles on a jig. Yeah. I don't know, I can't see. Nope, goggle eye. It's probably about. <laughs> I caught a bass, two bluegill, and a uh, small sockele, and this little goggle eye. He's a pretty, pretty goggle eye, but not what I'm looking for, you know. But this is what happens when you're bank fishing with a little bitty jig like this. I'm using the blue and white with a little crappy nibble on it. Hopefully we can get some sockele, man. It don't look like they want to cooperate today. But that's just how it is sometimes when you're bank fishing. You can't always go out there and catch them. It's just sometimes they're not as active as, you know. Or maybe you just might not get on them, you know. It's just the way it is. Oh no, big old bowfin. That's a big one too. I knew I should have brought my dang grippers. Oh, he got a big. Oh man. 
Uh oh, he's gonna break the line. That's what this one. As soon as you try to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, there's the shoe pick. <laughs> well, this is the first time this has ever happened to me. I caught a damn snake on a damn jig. What kind of snake is that? It's a water snake. It's a water snake? Yeah. Shit, I want my jig, bro. Yeah, that ain't even poisonous. Oh, hell no. Hold on, let me put his head down and get the jig out. No, that's not poisonous. What's up, guys? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe, comment, like. Uh, put anything you want to see up in the comment section. Make sure you read the description. I put a lot of other things in there that uh, you don't get to see in the videos. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't really the best of days at all. It just me, George, we didn't <laughs> catch barely anything. Uh, it's just like that sometimes. You know, you're on the bank, you can't really go out and find stuff on your sonar and your depth finder, stuff like that. And we've had horrible winds like 20 mile an hour winds for the past two or three days so it's just not been ideal to go out there and do it but you know you just gotta spend time out there try to figure it out and uh you know i tried to figure it out yesterday i caught a few fish not many let me know what y'all want to see i'm thinking about doing a redfish video in a kayak out of either empire or murder grove or port sulfur i really don't know yet and uh, I'm thinking about going doing a bass video on my kayak soon. All right, guys, let's set up a poll in the comment section. What do you want to see next? A bass fishing kayak video or a redfish kayak video? Or do you want to see something else? So put your input in the comments. I want to know what y'all think. Well, thank y'all. I'm going to see y'all next time. Later.